So today, I'll be showing you how to remap the buttons on your Google TV streamer remote. So there are a couple of buttons you can remap. Uh, of course, you don't want to remap the uh, main buttons like the home button, the back button, volume rockers, all these buttons, you can leave them as they are. But you have, if you have extra buttons like the YouTube button and the Netflix button, you can actually remap and even add more functions. Now, to do that, just go to the home page of your Google TV streamer and then go to apps. And then let's go ahead and search for an app called Button Mapper. So just type Button Mapper and then hit the search button. Results for Button Mapper. And this is the app you want, the first one in the results. Okay, so this one right here. So click on that and then go ahead and install it in your Google TV streamer. Now, once that is installed, you can launch it from here or from the home screen, depending on what you want. Just click on that and then it's going to give you this page asking to start accessibility service. So just go ahead and click OK. And that's going to take you to the settings where you need to navigate to accessibility. And then under accessibility, now under accessibility, go to button mapper and click on that and then go ahead and click on enable and confirm by clicking OK and that's going to enable the button mapper. Now here, as you can see, we have the volume up button, volume down button. So what you want to do is come here and add a button you want to map or remap. So let's, for instance, remap this Netflix button. OK, so that's what I want to do. So I'll click on add buttons and then it says, be careful, remapping certain buttons could make navigation difficult. So I'll just go ahead and click on add button once again. And then it's asking you to press button to add. So basically it wants you to press the button you want to remap. So I'll press the Netflix button and it's gonna get added. And once it's added, I'll scroll down and select it. And then of course it's going to try and sell me the pro feature which I can just decline politely and then now I have this whole page to customize my button for or my Netflix button so what you, what you want to do now is come back here and I want to restore the single press back to Netflix so I still want to use this button for Netflix but but of course that's for a single tap or a single press I also have the option to customize a double tap and a long press so let me first restore the single tap back to Netflix. So I'll come here, select a single tap and set it to, now before I can customize, I need to come here and enable customize. And then the single tap, I'll select it in the top menu right here, go to actions and choose application. And then I'll choose the Netflix application. And that's what I want that button to do. So the next thing I want to do is now, I can now give a function to a double tap. So let me come here and say, uh, so I can choose an application, I can choose a shortcut, I can go to system, I can open the specific media. I can perform actions like go home, like open recents. Uh, these are the recently opened applications, open the camera if I have one. So all this stuff. Now let me customize this and set it to screenshot. And then I'll go and select a long press. And then instead of actions, let me have it open a different application. So for instance, if I wanted to open Prime Video, I can select it like that. So what I'm doing basically is making this button a multi-purpose button. So a single tap is going to be Netflix, just like it used to be. A double tap will screenshot. Hopefully that is, that's going to work. And then the long press will open Prime Video. So Basically, I've finished setting up. So once I finish setting up, I can now press the home button to get out of there. And, and then now let's test our button mapper. Okay, so I have the Netflix button. Press once, that should open Netflix. Okay, now let's try a double press. Well, that was supposed to take a screenshot, but Oh yeah, it did take a screenshot as you can see right there. So let's let's do that again. 
yeah it takes a screenshot and then a long press should open prime video there you go so that is basically how to remap buttons on the google tv streamer remote now you can also go ahead and customize the other button so all you have to do is go back to the button mapper application and start all over again so just click on that and then uh, go back i mean come here and add buttons and then you can go ahead and add a button and then click on youtube and do the whole process all over again thanks for watching if you have any comments or questions feel free to leave them down in the comment section if you found this useful don't forget to leave a thumbs up and even subscribe for more tips and i will talk to you in the next one Good luck.